to infinity and beyond, the classroom. These high school students are on a mission to help NASA grow a farm in space. They're among 15,000 students in 150 schools, working on growing vegetables in space-like conditions. NASA is hoping the $1.2 million it spent on funding these schools will blossom into ways for astronauts to create their own gardens. The agency believes space gardening will be a crucial source of survival for astronauts on long missions. I think you all can imagine that uh, food is going to be very important for us and uh, also launching items into space is very costly. So if we can take our food in the form of seeds uh, and grow uh, items when we're in space, that will be a huge advantage for us and also allow us to be self-sustaining uh, self in space. Students record data on the progress of the plants and share it with NASA. The crops have to thrive in a small amount of soil, respond well to LED lights, and grow relatively clean, as it's hard to wash vegetables in space. We're not using typical gardening equipment. We have our setups, they're a lot more high-tech, so it's easier to control, but you know, you have to have the right tools to be able to control it. Reese's red romaine lettuce dried up, which means she will have to try growing a different plant. But other students have shown they've got greener fingers. Some student-tested vegetables are expected to blast into space soon, including dragoon lettuce and extra dwarf pak choy. Next year, tomatoes could be on the menu. And NASA is rooting for them to add more to the list, one science project at a time. Laila Humaira, TRT World.